As cleanup efforts underway today after a massive flood swept through Tucson. It's a small town that most of the Grand Canyon's visitors drive through. Team 12's Gabriela Becerra has got a look at the damage that was left behind. Gabby? Well, Tram, Mark, no one was injured, but the storm did flood some homes, hotels, and businesses. The roads are back open, but today is all about cleaning up and assessing the damage. You hear about the 100-year storm events, and and this was a, a hugely significant storm event that passed through our area. Water moving swiftly through Tucson, flooded cars, homes, and even the hotel President Joe Biden stayed at earlier this month. We have a lot of cleanup to do on our side roads and some things like that and some damage to some of the first floor of both residents and hotels. At about two feet deep and 300 feet wide. I have not seen any types of flow like this ever before. The water flowed through the middle of town and across Highway 64. Large debris, logs, uh, concrete blocks and other things that were moving through that water. Water strong enough to move an entire storage container. Uh, it picked it up and moved it uh, probably several hundred feet. Um, and ended up on top of a vehicle. Tucson is home to less than 600 people, but sees about 80% of the Grand Canyon's visitors. We're a small community that serves up to 6 million people a year. Mayor Clarinda Vale tells me the flood took people by surprise because it wasn't actually raining in town, but it was pouring hard just to the east. We've heard between 2.75 and 3 inches in a very short period of time, and that's what then came in the wash that is a part of Tucson that impacted us. Vale says the flood won't keep them from hosting people passing through. Grand Canyon National Park is open. Tucson is still open. We're working with with the what we're dealing with here, but we are open. And the flood temporarily knocked out power and water. Coconino County is setting up a citizen assistance center for anyone who might have been impacted. I'm Gabriella Becerra, 12 News. Gabriella, thank you.